Hey guys, uh, Happy New Year. 2023 is uh, well on its way and a lot of you, including myself, have probably set some goals for, for the year, right? Uh, maybe some New Year's resolutions perhaps, um, right? We have, we have goals for the new year. A lot of us probably wants to run our first 10K, 5K marathon. Uh, perhaps we want to improve our times. We want to go from this time to that time, etc. And, uh, and we have a plan on how to make that happen. And that's great. How do we do that though? Well, obviously we need to you know, make a plan and we need to work on our goals in a systematic manner. Um, we probably need to have a, 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 you know, a very well-defined goal, something that's measurable, something that's probably fixed in time. So we have a deadline, we need to do it by then. Otherwise, if it's just, I want to get faster in 2023, then it's just, how do you approach that, right? So those things in terms of like goal setting, those things are important. And I'm sure most of you have heard about all those tips and tricks on how to make good goals before. That's not what we're going to talk about today. Although that's all well and good, there's one thing that needs to be in place before you work on your goals uh, specifically. And that is habits, all right? A habit. Okay, a habit is the most powerful way to achieve anything. Why? Well, because if you needed willpower or motivation or discipline even, every time you needed to work on your goal, so for example, every time you were going to head out the door and go for a run, if it was always something that you did almost spontaneously and you're like, okay, I need to reach my goals, I got to do it, put on my clothes, get out, get it done. If every time we did something for our goals, we had to go through that process of motivating ourselves, um, being disciplined uh, and getting it done, then we wouldn't, we wouldn't get it done. <laughs> Over time, uh, motivation fades. It's normal and it's natural and it's fine. Uh, discipline only takes us so far. What you need is a habit. What you need is to build a life with habits that support the pursuit of your goals, all right? And this, this is true for fitness, running, but it's also true for business and life in general. Your life is ruled by your habits and, and your habits can be good or bad. So we all have good habits and bad habits, right? You can decide on your habits, all right? So if you want to run, before you start deciding on, you know, I'm going to run these, this many kilometers, miles, I'm going to run uh, blah, 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 like this, I'm going to do workouts like that, etc., 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 all the sort of technicalities of how to reach your goal as a runner. The first thing you do is actually just to establish the habit. Decide that you are going to run, let's say, four times a week, okay? So Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Those days you're going to run. All right, and then if you are able to, for, for, for a while there, you need to use your motivation and your discipline to make that happen. But after a few weeks, these activities start to become ingrained and they become habits. And when something's become a habit, it's no longer difficult to get it done because it's a habit. It's part of your routine, it's part of your daily structure. And suddenly you've now accomplished the biggest, most important thing about building anything, including fitness, and that is consistency, all right? If, you're, if you can get in the consistency, it doesn't even almost matter what you do, as long as you just go for a run, however long or whatever you're doing. At first, that's all, that's all you wanna focus on, just doing it. And for a runner who's already doing it, maybe running seven days a week even, uh, maybe it's something like, well, on Fridays, I'm going to have a really structured and great uh, interval workout, a quality workout on Fridays. Okay? So maybe that's the habit. For this person, they're already running every day, but they need to get more structured about how they run. And they, that could be the, as simple as just starting with Fridays, I'm going to have a quality session and I'm going to make that a habit. All right. So before you know it, Fridays become this quality day of training where, and you start sort of making habits on Thursday too, where you're preparing for your Friday run. So you, you make sure on, on Thursdays, I definitely go to bed a little bit early because I have my Friday quality run. When that becomes a habit, going to bed early, now you have two habits that are conductive to reaching your goal. 
etc et so you just you focus on habits first all right being aware of it noticing your habits your both your good and your bad and then designing your life so that your routine and your habits are conducive to your goal all right so if you're full of motivation now we're going to wrap it up now if you're full of motivation now because it's the new year and new opportunities take that motivation and don't put it into exactly what you're going to do put it into habit building all right put all your energy into building a good routine good habits and then a few months down the line then you can focus on the contents maybe of those habits right of, of exactly what you're doing in your training etc but first just getting the habit in there and like uh, des linden the the marathon runner says just keep showing up all right so if you just keep showing up because it's a habit for you that's going to take care of most uh, of your uh, problems actually so that's all that's all just a little talk about uh, habit building and then I could probably talk forever about it because I have a lot more to say also but for now I think this is enough just sort of be aware of it focus on your habits and 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 uh, work on those goals and if you want help with that of course check out my uh, website in the description I'm a running coach I'd be happy to help you out with reaching your goals and you know if we can together build some good habits for you then I can contribute by perhaps working a little bit more on the technical details about how to actually train as long as you're uh, taking care of the showing up aspect if you know what I mean. Alright, uh, have a great day and see you in the next video.